There are five vessels on the short crossing, giving a half hourly service for most of the day. 45 minutes fly by, and then it's time to rejoin the ICE on the lower deck. It's compulsory to leave the train, although you can leave your luggage on board, as the deck is sealed during the crossing. Our arrival at Rubu in full, Rubu Ferge, is bang on time. As you can see, we are let out of the vessel at the same time as the trucks. Simultaneously, cars are being unloaded from the upper vehicle deck. Just as at Puttgarten, there are extensive rail holding areas at Rudbu. These are for loading rail cars. To recap, these are no longer used. The freight operators prefer the 160 km diversion through Padborg and Jutland rather than the train ferry and the non-electrified Vogelfluglinie. The sidings may well be required again in 2018 when the ferry is replaced by a fixed link, a double deck, road over rail suspension bridge. 2018 might be optimistic as the upgrading and electrification on either side is due to take place over a further seven years. That said, even without additional infrastructure modernization, the bridge will take one hour from a Hamburg to Copenhagen run by the ICE. The Rubu, by the way, has a population of 6,500. This first section of our journey, Rubu to just short of Nürkebing, is over the island of Lollen, the fourth largest island in Denmark. Its population is under 70,000. The largest town on the island is Naxco, that lies in the far west. Naxco is rail served by a branch from this line, the two coming together south of Nikabing.
때문에 너가 이렇게 하잖아. 그래? 